So we own Sweetheart Bridal and DC Tuxedos in Provo, Utah. Um, we're just a brick and mortar store that specializes in modest wedding dresses and then we do suits and tuxedos for rent or for purchase. We didn't name either of our businesses because we bought, they were already existing, we purchased both of them. Um, so a lot of people ask us what the DC stands for in DC Tuxedos. Um, it was actually the previous owner's initials. But we had to have a good story, you know, since it's ours now. So I just tell everybody it stands for Dumb Chad because <laughs> he's the one that let me buy it. <laughs> yes, but then we also decided to switch it. <laughs> Not really. You did. But... <laughs> Sweetheart in Spanish is Dulce Corazón, which starts with DC, so it kind of works in both ways. Sweetheart. Uh -huh. um, our both stores have been around for... 28 years. 28 years. We bought the bridal shop six years ago and the tuxedo store four years ago. Five. Five. <laughs> um, and it's kind of just fluke that we walked into, right? Yeah, I tell everybody Shelly clicked the wrong button because she was looking no, for I a job the right interview button. for me and she ended up on businesses for sale and saw the bridal shop and said, do you want to buy a wedding dress shop? And I said, sure, I was having a bad day. So We yeah. laughed about it. We're not laughing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it really turned out. A year later, we got everything. I have lots of favorite moments, but greatest accomplishment... Um, our goal is to sell 500 dresses in one year, and we hit that two years ago. And that number, it's what the previous owner said that she did in a really good year. So we were trying to get back up to her best year, and we sailed right past it last year. We did 600. So um, probably my favorite, favorite moments, though, are always helping those people that need a little bit of extra help. I think one of my favorite ones, we had a Down Syndrome girl in for prom a couple of years ago, and she really wanted to look like Elsa. And um, we had the perfect, like, ice blue dress that was all beaded on the top, and it was gorgeous, and it was her perfect size. And just to see, like, her face light up, you know, when she came out and saw herself in the mirror, and she looked just like Elsa, and just made her day. And those are the little things that I absolutely love about my job. <laughs> well... <laughs> We don't view our failures as failures. We so. have had failures, but um, yeah, I don't, there's definitely things that haven't worked out or things that, you know, just didn't go as planned or that we didn't end up continuing to do. But uh, yeah, we don't really see them as failures. I think they all kind of lead us to where we are and we definitely learn from all of those experiences and we apply them and use them and try to make the best of those kind of things that don't always work out and learn from them. Basically, it's a chance to start over. Um, one of those would be in our tuxedos. The gentleman who owned it was sick, hadn't bought anything for about three or four years that was new. So I spent the next two years fixing that. It's not necessarily a failure that I bought a bunch of old stuff because it helped me get through and started, but now it's I'm almost to where I want to be, so it was a good thing. Shelly putting up with me 24 hours a day. <laughs> Working together constantly. <laughs> no, we actually work good together. We go on separate vacations. <laughs> we need to do that. No, um, I, I would say the biggest challenge, especially as a mother, is like starting these businesses and wanting to grow them, but also taking time for our kids. We have four kids now. We've had two kids since we bought the stores, so they're really time consuming and it's hard to come like on a three day weekend when everyone's off playing and we have to be here because we're busy um, and we have to bring our kids because all our babysitters are on vacation. <laughs> um, but it's, yeah, it's been hard to do that. And But our kids really like coming here. They, they've become invested in the business. They're always asking us, how many dresses do we sell today and how many tuxes do we rent? And they get really excited, you know, and we have a big number and we take them out to celebrate. So that's been a hard thing to incorporate the family into the business, but we try to make the most of it. One of the other challenges that we have is basically it's balance, finding a balance between um, work and personal time, but it's also finding a balance between work and growing your business. That's one of the harder ones because you want to be here to make sure everything's done right because it's your, you're, you're on the line. 
And then if you're not here and you're out doing some other things, you have to trust the people you hired and have them trained so that they can do it. And it's letting go of that so that you can actually grow your business and make it, make other things happen that wouldn't be able to get done by anybody else. Shelly won't brag about herself, but she does work really hard at keeping a very unique dress selection in the store. Um, she's been able to work closely with several designers and get her designs and her things put across that helps make our store a little unique. And we've contracted with several designers where they won't sell to anybody else in Utah County or surrounding areas, so then we're the only ones that carry them. And we have very unique dresses. And that's all due to the work that Shelley puts into it, keeping it that way and making things unique. We've also kind of done the same thing in tuxedos. We wanted to be a little different than everybody else. So we do things just a little different and have a different variety that you won't find anywhere else, which was one thing if you can find your niche in any business, it's going to make you stand out from anybody else. And that's, that's a good thing because you don't want to be, we don't want to compete with the big stores, um, but we want to be different. Why give up? If I'm working, I can't eat <laughs> food. To pay your bills? Yeah. Is that what you mean? <laughs> no, I just want food. <laughs> that's the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, right? <laughs> so hard time what motivates me to keep working is the fact that it's going to change. Um, even though right now it might be hard, but if you put your mind to it and work, you can change it, you can get it done, and the sacrifice is going to be better. Because if you can survive the hard times, then you're going to have better good times. Yeah, I think even like when we have a difficult customer, somebody that's hard to deal with, thinking about the good customers too is what gets me through that. You know, like remembering the really good time I had last week with a certain bride or um, anything like that just helps me get through those difficult ones and move on. It's also a change of mind because that difficult customer could end up being somebody that helps you out somewhere else down the road. And so you do your best to take care of them and change the way, change the outcome so that the outcome's what they want and it can completely change your life. I had a, had a group of sisters that I did that with and they ended up sending in four different referrals that all bought dresses from us. So it turned out great. So my advice would be to just not ever give up. Um, like Chad mentioned, from the time we saw the store listed on sale, for sale to the time we actually signed papers was a year. And the previous owner just kind of kept changing her mind on the time frame. And it was good because it gave us a lot of time to learn what we needed to, but it was really hard to be the patient. Um, we had a lot of hiccups when we tried to buy the tuxedo store too. And um, I think the the biggest advice I give is if you know that it's something you're supposed to be doing and it, you know, just it feels right, don't give up on it. You've got to push through all those hard times and and do what it takes to make it work. The other thing is is that it's just hard it's just work. There's you can't pay somebody to do the work that you can do yourself. It's especially getting started. Um, it's it's up to you. So if you're willing to work and do it, then it's great. If not, then don't do it.